This is the Philippine pangolin. Along with other seven species from other places, this is the scaly anteaters. They are found in protected forests in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. The average Philippine pangolin weighs around 3 pounds and can grow as much as 58 to 100 centimeters in length. Their body is covered in scales. These scales are soft when they are born, but harden as they grow up. They also have long sticky tongues that they use to eat. Speaking of eating, their diet consists of mainly insects, but most of the time, they prefer ants and termites. Here are some more interesting facts about the pangolins. Their scales are actually made of keratin, the same material that makes up our hair and nails. They are actually a great help to the farmers as they cultivate the soil while doing what they normally do. They also play a big part in our ecosystem by controlling the population of insects. Back then, indigenous communities in Palawan hunt the Philippine pangolin for their food. It is said that when they hunt, it should be full moon or else they're not going to see the pangolin. Also, before hunting, they say a prayer that asks for the Duwata's permission for them to catch the pangolin. They do this because they believe that the pangolins are being taken care of the Duwata. After catching, they burn the scales outside their house to let the Duwata know that they gained the pangolin's trust. But today, other people are hunting the pangolins for the meat and scales. Hunters sell them to different people. This results in the continuous decrease of the pangolin's population. Right now, they're considered the most trafficked mammal in the world and is listed as an endangered species. There isn't an exact number of how many of them are left, but it's not too late to protect them. Spread the word that they exist and that they are in danger, because right now, being informed can go a long way in saving them.